Hey guys, Raphael here, amigos. Rafael aquí. So I went ahead and ordered the legendary scale figure Darth Vader. I ordered the uh, uh, la figura de Darth Vader, uh, media escala. Um, now I do have my cinema cat, which to me is the ultimate Vader, only because you know removable helmet, silicone face, and all that, and the and the sound uh, bits and lightsaber. I think it's amazing. Uh, tengo el Cinema Cat, que para mí es el mejor para mí por el casco que se le puede quitar, la cara de silicón, todo eso. But, I've always wanted full size, life size Vader, but I have no room and expensive as hell. So this is the next best thing and I actually liked what I saw at the Comic Con. So we will see what I get. Uh, siempre he querido uno o dos horas así del tamaño natural, pero es sin posible, es muy caro y aparte no tengo el lugar. Así que lo siguiente es este. Y yo espero que esté bien, ya que cuando lo vi se vea muy bien en el Comic Con. So let's get this guy open. Vamos a abrirlo. Uh, the box is pretty heavy. Está bastante pesada la caja. So it says here 53 pounds. So let's get these things going. Vamos a empezar a abrir. Well, I was about to tip them over. Ya, ya lo iba a vaciar así, pero no. This has paddings on here. Because here's the base. Oh no, yeah, here's the base. So you have the instructions here. This is kind of cool looking. This was tapade. So here we go. I have an arm, a brazo. There's the base. Nice and heavy, sturdy. Legs. Okay, and I took this off because I tried to pull this out. Traté de jalar esto, pero no. It's tight back here somewhere. There you go. You have a, a, a nut there. So I'll leave it as is for right now. Then we'll figure out what the steps are. Vamos a ver cuál es el siguiente paso. Looks pretty cool though. Okay. Guards. Nice, very light. This is a, uh, it's hollow. It's a stay, it's not hueco. So it's not a heavy um, duty, nothing. It's just like, it feels like a, you know, plastic toy type of thing, but it's still pretty nice. Se parece como un juguetito muy, muy este, hueco, pero este, está bonita. There's a lot of weight down here. Hay mucho peso en esta área. So that's kind of cool. The chest. Zip it up. Con un cierre atrás. Ok, now is the palm up, ahora sí, con el cierre. You have to put batteries in the back, which is right here. So let me go get some batteries. Batteries are in. Baterías están puestas. Alright, the shoulder pads. This has Velcro here. So, there we go. Right. These guys also have batteries. También tienen baterías atrás. Now, if anybody knows, I don't know where this pad goes. Maybe it goes here. I have no idea. It doesn't show up here. No se ve aquí donde va esto. Okay, so here it is. Um, it would have been nice if it'd be a real chain. This is actually kind of like a plastic tie. Estaría mejor que fuera una cadenita 
Es de, de veras, es de como de plástico. Turn off some of this light. Where is it? Okay. Okay, guys, so here he is. Aquí está. I have to say, for the size, I like him. It's very cool. Si está padre. El tamaño está muy bien. Now the prototype and a pro and a prototipo. The head is actually tilted more this way, looking at what he's choking. Right here, you can't you can't do that. No, no se puede mover la cabeza más hacia acá. Things moving. Hold on. All right, so that's okay. I guess. Um, there we go. Kind of. But then you have this kind of gap here. But it kind of sits down better there. Ahí es donde está un poco mejor. It's not looking completely over here, like in the prototype, but it's pretty cool looking. Now this is kind of cool. You know, eso está padre. So it lights up, which is nice. Okay. Now I would prefer to have this set a little bit this way out here so you can at least see the lightsaber. A menos para que se vea el, el, la espada, ¿no? O como se llama, el, el saber. This hand here, to me, is not natural looking. Esta mano no está, no se ve natural. It's too stiff looking. That's my only thing there. But other than that, I like this piece. Uh, aparte de eso, sí me gusta esta pieza. He is very, very cool looking. Sí está bien suave. Now, one thing. For the price, uh, yeah, I guess it's okay. I mean, I have to say, for after all said and done, después del precio, después de todo, envío y todo eso, you know, you're looking at close to uh, about 2800 and you're only getting these lights. In, in, casi casi 2800 Y nada más agarras estas luces, which isn't, which isn't bad, it's nice. As I think that for the price, you should have gotten a lightsaber that lights up or some voice activation. Um, por el precio, yo creo que era para que tuviera un, un, un lightsaber que se pueda prender, o al menos una voz. Now, I do have the Cinema Cat. That was, uh, you know, years ago. I tengo el de Cinema Cat, y eso fue unos años atrás. Total for that one, it's about 2300 Total por ese, como 2300 Sure, it's smaller in scale. Era un poco más pequeño, lógico, mucho más pequeño. But you got the lightsaber that turned on with cool sound effects. Se prendía el, el, el saber y con eh, efectos especiales. You have Earl Jones' voice in there. Uh, tenías la voz uh, de Earl Jones. Uh, you know, and you had all these lights going on. Y también las luces prendidas. Plus a silicone head and a removable helmet. Más la cabeza de silicone y se le quitaba el, el casco. So, for your money... The cinema cat is the way to go. Um, again, for the amount of money for this, I think it should have had something, uh, maybe some voice, or at least a saber that would light up. Um, but other than that, you know, yeah, I bit the bullet because it's it's a nice looking piece. I love Vader; he's my favorite villain. Y gasté el dinero en este porque sí me encanta Vader, y este y es mi mejor villano. Y el tamaño se ve muy bien. So again, guys, uh, you know, I, he's cool. I like him. So I, I had to give uh, props to Sideshow. They, they did pretty good on this one. 
is the, you know, except those little things where you can't, you know, put the head the way it should go. And that stiff looking hand. That's about it. Other than that, everything else is pretty cool looking. Uh, the hand. Uh, it's just like Again, I'm not that picky, so I'm happy with them. Yo no soy tan tan delicado en las en mis piezas, así que estoy muy contento con esta pieza. All right, guys. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.